All right, 2021 Ford Explorers, not Sport, ST. Uh, I can't believe that the battery fucking died with 14,000 miles on it. Ford Motorcraft battery, but sure as shit it did. Um, I'll post, or I'll show in this video some of the things that it was doing. Lights flashing, looked like it was going into like a security mode. It was acting all kinds of stupid. Uh, tested the battery, battery was real low. Um, testing down at like 12, uh, bumped a little bit to like 13, maybe still very much in the red and the yellow. So it was, it was toast. Um, and it had actually been driven home, kind of limped home. So yeah, it was bad. So I've already taken the battery out, unfortunately. Uh, but I'm going to show you guys the steps that I, I did to, to remove it. All right. First things first, these little clips slide off like that okay so you're gonna do it on that side where those are these unscrew and then you just pull them out when you screw unscrew them all the way they come out pretty easily uh, some of the older explorers I noticed that you can pull this entire shroud off these are really tight on the weather stripping and don't seem to want to come off, I would not force this. Uh, I left mine on, um, and there's plenty of room, not plenty, but there's enough room to get completely underneath there to all this nonsense. Now, it might be good that I already took the battery out, because you can actually see some of the things that you can't really see when you're trying to take the battery out. One is this dumb fucker. This thing, which is pretty standard on most batteries, but they're usually to the side or to the front where it's very easy to get a hold of. You would think that it would line up right there. It does not. So this little turd sits in the back, unfortunately, and it's like that. And it won't come out unless you completely unscrew it, and it's a fairly long thread, as you can see. I'll put that right there for now. That is back there, if you can see. That little hole, that's where it's going. So it's in the back. It's a pain in the ass to get to. There is a little vent that is sitting in this battery. Take that out first. Hopefully you can see it. It is this thing right here. Just put it out to the side so you don't bang it up or smash it up. From the top, there is a plastic thing sitting over the battery there it is sorry sitting like this over the battery uh, you're gonna pop a clip and the whole thing will come off of this metal piece in here which is what holds all your terminals and everything else these need to come off they're two 10 millimeters and they go to these posts right here this doesn't need to come all the way off, but you've got to loosen it in order to get your terminal and everything else off. Once off, this will flip back out of the way. This guy's pretty self-explanatory. Just loosen it and then slide it off. I pushed it off over to here. It seems to be out of the way. Super smooth. Jesus. Yeah, super smooth. Just cut my hand all this shit. I'm leaving my negative off. I know it's hard to see. Sorry, but. 
once you get it down in there, which is not super fun or easy. I probably should have bungeed this up here. All right, here's what I did. Bungee the thing out of the way. It's a pain in the dick, and unless you figure a better way out to take it off. Okay, so now I can kind of work with one hand. So this goes in the side here. Put that vent back in there. Basically, I'm just lining this terminal up. I always put my positive on first, just to make sure that I'm not steering anybody in the wrong direction. You've got an empty post and an empty post, at least on this ST. You want your fat terminal going to the left. You want your skinnier dude going to the right. Those are both 10 millimeters. to attempt to show you where this goes, but it's almost impossible. Yeah, you can't see shit. Okay, let's fish it through back there. I just feel around. Actually landed it first try, holy shit. Never happens, dude. You guys know. an eight millimeter and you're just gonna tighten it down for a while you'll know you don't have to kill that thing in the back back here just tighten it down until it feels pretty tight all right now that these posts are sitting here this is good you can tighten that up yeah man. Again, don't kill it. This dude, how did I say this went? Something like this shit, I think. Man, that don't even look right. Oh yeah, there's the clip. This clip goes there. Pretend like you know what you're doing in case your wife's watching. Cause it's just a goddamn battery. Get this dude out of the way. I don't know if the alarm goes off when you plug these on. Hopefully it doesn't. That would suck. Shit's making noise. I'll double check so I can tell you guys that if it's pointing in the right direction. Cause that's important. You don't want there to be tension on that. You want to make sure your dude is all the way around here. And I'm wondering if I'm jammed up on something here. But you wanna, you wanna get this guy all the way around. It should be sitting like this. So that's what I'm gonna do. And I'm gonna tighten it up. It seems like there's tension, so I'm gonna check it out. Make sure you don't get any cords jammed up in there or twisted around. All right, I'm gonna grab you a handful of clips. And start putting shit back together. Thank you. 